Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a special effect in Filmora 10. So that is breaking the screen. Screen breaking, glass breaking. Okay, never mind. So that is the effect that we are going to, to create. And here's the example. Uh, here the example video. Okay, let's watch it. Alright, so to create this effect, it is very easy. So the first thing you need to find an image of a breaking glass or, or stuff like that well, on Google or, or whatever, uh, on any other stuff, stock photo website or stuff like that. Uh, okay, so for example, if you go to Google and you can search uh, glass breaking and select it and then you go to image and you find it, and you can find any any image here. But remember, you find a, a glass uh, breaking glass with a black background. So try to find a black background uh, to create this effect. And you can also go to tools and uh, select user right. Uh, it created common license so that you can use your image for free. Okay. And uh, there is another website you can uh, go and go there and find an overlay uh, here at pizzabay.com. And you can also uh, search glass breaking and enter and then uh, you can find overlays uh, here also uh, for example this one or this one uh, this one look fine also okay so when you have the image uh, let's go to Filmora I will show you how to uh, edit uh, or edit this video okay so I'm going to close this one and here I am inside my uh, Filmora 10 and the first thing we need an, uh, a video of me just punching the screen so remember you need to yeah maybe acting like this and you try to punch uh, to your lens uh, camera lens uh, so that uh, the effect can be a little bit more uh, more more interesting okay uh, so when you have the uh, the uh, video you just need to drag and drop it uh, onto a timeline and then uh, the next thing you need to find the place where you stop punching the screen so I'm going to find it uh, on my timeline and I think that is a this this is a the position that I punched the screen so I'm going to add a marker here to add a marker in Filmora 10 just press M on your keyboard and remember you need to select the video track here otherwise the marker will be here at the timeline okay so here I have this one and now we need to drag and drop the image uh, of the screen uh, the, of the glass so i'm going to use this one uh, this one i just drag and drop it here and put it exactly at the at the marker position so the next thing i want to do with the image is to uh, scale it up and reposition the uh, this one this point at my punch okay uh, so the first thing I want to crop to fit, uh, I want to uh, right click at the image and then select crop to fit. Okay, so I have my image fulfill the screen and uh, I'm going to select a blending mode to remove the uh, black background here. To do that, I'm going to double click at the image, go to the image tab here and find the compositing. So you have the compositing here, you need to select this menu. And then at the blending mode option, you need to select screen to remove the black background of the image. And that's it. Yeah. And let's see if my punch is uh, right at the whole position or not. So we're going to swap it, swap it to here. Uh, here at this position. I think it's perfect by the way if if this hole is not right at the position where you want to to put then you can move it uh, you can click here and move it around the screen uh, but be sure to scale it up so that uh, you don't have the black edge uh, on this side or this side when you move the, the image okay so this the, uh, this is the visual image and that's that should be okay now the next thing we want to add is shake effect and also some smoke because when I punch the screen there's something just exploding okay to do that we go to uh, video effect here and we find the shake shake effect at the included folder 
and for the first one i'm going to use this one up and down one and i'm going to drag and drop it right here at the position where my my punch hit the screen and the next thing i want to split it and make it short because just it will shake only in maybe one second and stuff like that and we can split it here okay and delete this one for your information if you want to adjust the shake uh, intensity or stuff like that you can double click here at the uh, at the effect box here and then adjust the frequency here uh, it is very easy by the way for me i think 400 is okay and we are going to click ok and the next the next overlay i want to add here is the burst uh, smoke or burst or stuff like that uh, we can go to the elements and then uh, we can find this one uh, in the martial arts patch this is a free patch you can download on the website on filmstock and try to find this one kung fu bust so we are going to drag and drop this one at the top track here and now we need to find the, the place where the bust is cover the screen uh, bigger here i think this position looks fine and we also need to split split this element okay at this position and delete the this one and i'm going to uh, split it at this position and delete this one okay so that is enough for the visual so we have just created a visual effect like punching the screen i'm going to render the timeline and play the video so that you can see this effect before i try to add more sound effect and and other stuff okay a few moments later okay so here is the effect punch in the screen uh, without sound effect okay let's play it okay so you can see I'm trying to hit the screen but when my punch is near here and uh, we need to adjust a little bit here play it okay so at this position I want to move everything here uh, the image and the shake effect and also the the element to this position when I hit the screen okay uh, because of the marker so it is because of the marker because uh, the first place I want to try to find the position when I hit the screen it is not perfect okay so this time is perfect let's take a look I think it's fine right so that is how you can create this punching the screen or breaking the screen effect in Fimura 10 and now we can add some sound effect like yeah <laughs> And actually, I record, uh, recorded that sound effect with uh, the voiceover recording option here. So I try to put, uh, press this one and I record. Yeah! And I just create my own sound effect. And it is here in the media folder. So this is my, uh, my recording. So I can just drag and drop it and put it right here. At this position, when I punch in the screen. And another, this is a uh, punch. Uh, punch sound effect. I want to add it to to this position too, and also reduce the reduce the, the voice a little bit here, and also my voice. Uh, so okay, so this is a uh, where sound. By the way, we need to add the music. And here's a, the music sound for music. Here's the background music for this uh, video. If I had a chicken. So this is in uh, YouTube uh, library. It is uh, free, and there is another another point when I hit the screen. So when I hit the screen after it you know, start breaking, uh, I want to add another shake effect here. Just uh, look like this uh, before it start completely uh, break. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to uh, add a, a, another shake effect here, and uh, at this time we can add uh, up and down uh, for this one. So we we can also shorten it, shorten it here, and also we need to adjust the the intensity. Uh, to do that, we are going to double click, and then here at this position, I want to adjust it to 120, and I'm going can click OK. Okay, and that is uh, how you can create a breaking screen effect in Fimura 10, and I think it is very interesting uh, to create this uh, special effect. I hope you learned something here. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye!